of the UK's next-generation supersonic stealth combat aircraft, Tempest, engineers have recently conducted high-speed ejection seat trials. These trials are critical to ensuring the safety and reliability of the aircraft's crew escape systems. Working closely with Martin Baker, a UK specialist in crew escape technology, a team of engineers from BAE Systems led the ejection seat trials. The tests employed a rocket-propelled sled that achieved speeds in excess of 500 miles per hour. This collaboration is part of the broader efforts by experts from BAE Systems, Rolls-Royce, Leonardo UK, MBDA, and the Ministry of Defence, MOD, in conjunction with various British small and medium-sized enterprises. The ejection seat trials are part of the Flying Technology Demonstrator Program, which is aimed at developing Tempest, the UK's next-generation combat aircraft. The program was first announced by the UK government in July 2022 and is expected to see the aircraft take flight within the next four years. Not only do these tests play a vital role in the safety aspects of the aircraft, but they also provide an opportunity for experienced engineers to work alongside junior team members, thereby passing on vital skills that can be harnessed for future developments of Tempest. Neil Strang, Tempest Program Director at BAE Systems, emphasized the significance of this phase in the program. He said, it's now 40 years since our people led the demonstrator aircraft program which gave birth to Typhoon and the work we're doing today is another once in a generation opportunity to write the next chapter in aviation history. He also highlighted the collaborative nature of the program, with young apprentices and graduates working alongside some of our most experienced engineers. Richard Bertone, Director Future Combat Air for the MOD, also underscored the importance of the flying demonstrator program, calling it a remarkable effort to design and build a supersonic stealth jet that will prove integration and develop our national skills, while providing data and learning in support of Tempest entering service by 2035.